Welcome back. Well, three weeks ago, our friend and lifestyle contributor, Jill Martin Brooks, revealed she was diagnosed with breast cancer. Since then, she has undergone surgery, and she is here this morning, along with her surgeon, Dr. Elisa Port, the chief breast cancer surgeon at Mount Sinai Hospital here in New York. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Jill, on the outside, you look absolutely beautiful. How do you feel on the inside? Um, that's well, First of all, thank you. And it's such an interesting question. I feel it. Um, I am my I grew up and we were just talking about this with my mother saying you never know what's going on with someone on the inside. Yeah. And so I I look like myself. Yeah. Um, but I don't internally. It's very tough. Yeah. Um, so since I've seen you three weeks ago, which feels like yesterday and a lifetime um, as I'm sitting next to my superhero. Um, but I uh, underwent a, a double mastectomy and they found I was stage two. Um, they found an aggressive tumor that um, spread into one lymph node. Um, and so we removed some lymph nodes around that. And so that's the first step. Yeah. And so I'm grateful that we caught it. Um, and I'm grateful that there is a treatment plan going forward. Yeah. But it's a long road. And emotionally, um, and anybody will tell you this, it is earth shattering. Yeah. Well, it, life changing. Life to port. I mean, you're you're happy with how the surgery went, and I mean, it could not have gone better. Okay. Um, you know, Jill went in with the best attitude I've ever seen in terms of we're going to take this, and it's it's you know really a collaborative thing as a surgeon, and it's such an honor to take care of her. And um, the results, the surgery went great, and it generates a lot of information, Savannah, in terms of guiding the next steps of treatment for her. So you've talked about, so what you learned was that it's stage two breast cancer, but you still aren't, you don't know yet what your exact treatment plan is going so, to be? Yeah, we'll find out Wednesday. Um, we took an Oncotype test, which, which will tell us if chemotherapy treatment will help. And correct me if I'm, this is, I took a crash course in, mm. um, in this. Um, unfortunately, but we'll learn if chemotherapy, I most likely will need chemotherapy, but that will solidify it. Yes. Um, I'll have to have um, my another surgery preventatively for my ovary. I have to have a full hysterectomy because of past, but for ovary, ovaries and fallopian tubes. And then um, I'll be on an anti-hormonal drug for five years. Okay. But there's a, there's a, there's an end point, meaning that I will, I, this is curable. This is, the is, prognosis is good. That's excellent. what I want to make clear yeah, the it's a hard is long getting... road for you but the prognosis right. is good. so i want to say like that's the thing like the that i am and and my main message as to why i'm doing this in real time with our viewers is that had i caught you know you know i was up to date on mammograms and sonograms up to date mm -hmm. january um had i caught this genetic testing earlier yeah i would have been able to take measures and so I feel like I'm lucky I caught it, but I don't want anyone else to have to go through the cancer part. Like, well, that's that's really what I want to Let's underscore dive into. that because I know, I mean, it's not easy for you to come in and, and be here in, in the middle of this isn't like, oh, this is ancient history. This is something you're dealing with right now and you're giving this to others. The BRCA gene mutation, you can be tested for it. You hadn't been tested for it because your mom was negative. You thought. Well, well, then I must be negative too. It turns doesn't out, on my dad's side. Turns out it's right. on your father's it's on side. My father's so side. if people want to, who should be tested? I mean, should everyone get a test? You know, there are certain red flag situations, Savannah, which warrant genetic testing for sure. Um, but then I think there are also situations where we find out that someone is gene positive with no warnings. You know, family history of breast cancer, certainly, especially in women at a young age. A combined family history of breast and ovarian cancer. The trickier ones are there are other cancers, prostate, pancreatic, melanoma, that are also linked to the gene. And if you have a family history of that, that should also at, trigger someone to be evaluated. You know, some people had that the the BRCA test. Mm -hmm. Maybe maybe they had it ten years ago or fifteen yep. years ago. Should they retest? Are the yeah. tests better now? It's a great point. So starting in two thousand and thirteen, the test improved dramatically, and we also have identified a host of other genes that also have increased risk of breast cancer. And we couldn't test for those before two thousand thirteen. So now. When we do genetic testing, we test for a whole panel of genes. Mm. So yes, anyone who is tested, we generally say pre-2013 should probably consider getting retested. Male or female. Male of or course. female. Yeah, and let, and let me, first of all, our viewers, I mean, the amount of feedback that we've gotten doing this in real time, but 
the amount of people who have written that they've gotten tested, most with negative results, some with positive results, mm -hmm. and they're dealing with it with their doctors. Yes. And a lot of people saying, I'm afraid to test. And all I'm saying is, please go to your doctor right. and learn about the test because preventatively to do this is so much better than battling cancer. Yes. And I just don't want any other family to have to go through this part of it. Yeah. What's getting you through right now? Um, <laughs> every day is like a... But you know what's getting me through? Tomorrow, steals and deals. <laughs> are I'm you back, not really? Do, are you doing steals and deals? Yes, I'm back. Oh That's what gosh. we want to show Jill. is that she, you yeah. can't keep Jill yeah. down. No. Not no. when it's 25% you know off. My you, know, you know what? You know what? And I, I said won't to, be here for I that. Said to, <laughs> I said, although you love a deal, I said to Dr. Port, I said, you could either stay home yes. and cry under the covers, mm. or I can come to work and be myself. And I'm not going to let cancer take that away from only me. Only you, Jilly. We love you so much. Love you, you too. You're on the road to recovery. And then, thank you to my and superhero. Dr. Port, thank you for taking good care thank of our Thank you for friend. having me, of thank course. You. We should mention they're going to be back in our next hour, so we can ask more questions of the doctor, which I think this is so important that people are getting this information. And Jill wrote a beautiful and really personal essay for today.com, so everybody should read it. We love you. We'll love see you tomorrow, you. my friends. See you tomorrow. We're back after a check of your local news and weather. 91%. We're not, no, stop. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.